I'm going to start with a question for you, and, and, and I'm not going to talk too much about technology to, to start with here. Um, Blockbuster, fairly well-known brand that disappeared off the radar. I think their very, very last shop in Alaska closed down this year. What killed them? What caused Blockbuster to disappear from being a juggernaut in DVD rentals to, to nothing? Does anyone want to hazard a guess? Broadband. Netflix. Netflix? Broadband? Netflix? In what way did Netflix cause that to happen? Online Yeah, close. So Blockbuster had the opportunity to buy Netflix when Netflix started. When Netflix started, they were a DVD rental company. Uh, New Zealand had Fatso. You went online, you ordered a DVD, they sent it in the post, you watched it, you sent it back. Blockbuster, where obviously you went down to the store um, and borrowed your DVD and took it back. When Netflix first started up, they op noticed the, the challenge that was ahead of them, and they weren't streaming. This was about 20 years ago. They weren't streaming anything. Uh, they were just doing that DVD rental. So they went to Blockbuster and said, do you want to buy us? And Blockbuster went, no. Then Blockbuster changed their CEO, and their CEO addressed the business model and went, actually, what's working for Netflix will work for us, and completely transformed the business model. One of the problems that he did in doing so, what he actually created was an, an application called Total, Total Access, which was um, Netflix-like, so DVD rental online. What he abolished was late fees. About 65 or 70% of the revenue that Blockbuster made was late fees. So by getting rid of them, the company started to lose revenue. The rest of the revenue that they made was from people who were in-store renting a DVD, buying popcorn and buying snacks and buying other stuff. So by going online, that money was disappearing out the door. That CEO got, uh, he got thrown out in a coup, corporate coup. The new one came in and took them back to the old model and put late fees in, but by then it was too late because what people had realised with Netflix was Netflix didn't charge late fees. You just didn't get your next DVD till you sent the old one back. So while, while it's true that Netflix did kill Blockbuster, it's not in the streaming market. Blockbuster was already on the way out five or ten years before Netflix started streaming. And it was because they failed to adapt and transform the business model around the company. And they had a huge reliance on customers failing to get the DVDs and videos back on time. When your entire revenue is based on that, there's only one way for you, particularly when you get to Netflix. Um, interestingly, talking about this slide today uh, with the announcement that Lightbox and Neon, two of the, the New Zealand owned streaming channels, um, Lightbox was owned by Spark, they've just been bought by Sky, they're merging the two together, there'll be one and it's going to be paid for. So we're seeing competitors move out of the market now as well because business models are struggling. 